Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on XP Boost. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows your players to buy XP Boost for a certain amount of time and admins can use these commands to give all players a specific item or give a global boost for a certain amount of time or turn it on and off. So first of all we are going to look at the sign. So the way you create this you pop down the sign and on the top line you do and a square bracket XP boost. You can change how this sign looks in the config file if you want to, uh, but this is the default way of doing it and open on the second line. So that will create a sign that looks like this and then you can right click it like this. Uh, capitals don't matter as you can see, uh, there's capitals here, not here. Um, and here we have all of the different boosts. So uh, we have the 1.5 boost for $500 and that's for 300 seconds. And if we go all the way down here, you can see there is a 3.5 times boost for 1,000 seconds. So uh, let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, let's grab the, uh, the best one, 3.5 times. And we don't actually have enough money, so uh, that's embarrassing. Let's give myself uh, a lot of money and buy it again. There we go, we have bought it. So um, now that we've done that, how can we tell it's active? Well, in front of me you saw it popped up in text saying I have a boost active. And as you can see in chat, when we give ourselves XP, we get 32 instead of 9. And if we were to kill a mob, like a, uh, a slime here, he will drop XP and I will get 14 instead of 4, which is obviously uh, 3.5 times 4. So that's how that works. Um, really awesome that you can do this. And uh, let me just make sure those are all dead. Yes, they are. Uh, so once you've done that, you can actually look at all of the commands. So do for slash XP boost. And here we can do a variety of things. You can uh, open the shop here as well by doing for slash XP boost GUI. If you want to click a sign, you can disable um, your own XP boost by doing XP boost clear and your username or someone else's username. And I should note at this point that you can only use one XP boost at one time. Uh, so we could give ourselves an item, so if we do XP boost item, LT gym, uh, the boost is going to be a 10 times boost, let's see if that works, and the time is going to be, I don't know, 10 seconds. So here we have the item, it's a 10 times XP boost, I could give this to a friend or something, uh, maybe you get it for donating or something, and if we grab that and we give ourselves some XP, look at how much XP we're getting. Uh, so we can get up these levels very, very, very quickly, and there we go, boost has expired, and now I'm getting a normal amount. So this would be really, really, really useful in uh, faction servers, because I know XP is sometimes difficult to get, and you obviously want to get enchanted weapons and armor, and all of that good stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to the commands by doing XP boost, if we can spell it correctly. There we go. So you can actually turn on the global boost. So if we do XP boost global, um, we could set the multiplier to 5 if we wanted to. And then we can go ahead and turn it on to XP boost on. So while this is on, everyone in the server will be getting times 5 experience. So obviously, um, there you go, 5 times 5, 25, 8 times 5, 40. And uh, yeah, that's how that works. But remember to turn it off so you don't want people just um, getting so much that they don't need to uh, get anymore. So that's how that works. And um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. I think I've covered everything. Uh, you can obviously do XP boost reload if you've changed something in the config file. Uh, but we are going to take a quick look in there right now. So here we are in the XP boost folder. And as you can see, there is a folder and a file. So let's go into the folder first. This has the uh, text. So Everything that you can see in game is all here, so all the messages you receive and all, all of the commands. Uh, that's straightforward, we don't really need to mess around with that, but you could change the colors if you wanted to. And here we have the main config file. So in here, you, as I mentioned, you can change the sign, how it looks and how you create it. So you could change the colors, the text on it, uh, you could put shop here, so XP boost shop. I think that would be more appropriate. Um, and maybe uh, something down here, click me to open or something. And you can even set a day where you have an XP boost, which is uh, really awesome. Maybe over the weekend when people aren't working or at school or something, that'd be cool. And if we uh, scroll down a bit more, um, we will see all of the boosts. So uh, here we go. Here is boost one. As you can see, it is 1.5, cost 500, and time is 300. And we can have um, a permission for people to use that. Maybe um, high ranks or donators only get to use the, the big boosts. So we could create a brand new one if we wanted to. 
uh, as it says at the top up here uh, this is generally how you create it so you could copy and paste one of them like this make sure you rename it so it doesn't glitch out so boost 8 uh, enabled do we want it enabled well yes we do because uh, that's what we want to do uh, and the boost is going to be times 10 so it's going to be a pretty crazy one and it's going to cost many nines so nine 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 there we go and that's how much it costs and the time is going to be for 1000 seconds like that and permission so do we want to use a permission for people um, to be able to buy it and yes and that's going to be XP boost dot uh, crazy like that because that is a crazy amount of uh, boost for a crazy amount of money and there you go uh, you can set a message here as well so um, that's really awesome that you can do that and as you can see some of these boosts are enabled we only saw I think five in the shop and obviously six seven um, were not enabled at that time and then um, up here if you have any of these plugins you can enable them with this uh, which is awesome and up here you can change a few other things so you can disable vanilla XP if you wanted to uh, you can change the global boost modifier or you can do that in game and other stuff like that and obviously you saw the boss bar happen so uh, that's another thing you can change uh, so the color and the style as well but that is everything in the config file it's a really awesome plugin uh, works really well and is pretty useful so subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time